Hi guys, just a little update. Um, last week I uh, basically reconditioned an old Rhino ladder for the back door. Um, cut along story short, I got a bit of a deal, bought a roof rack with a ladder, sold the roof rack on but kept the ladder for myself. So basically, didn't cost me anything, just two tins of paint to um, give it to another counter. Used the um, truck bed liner paint, come out quite nice. Um, just a little guideline to the way I fitted it. What I actually did to um, strengthen the steelwork in the back door where I bolted it on, when I fitted my windows over the back and cut the, the holes out the side, Obviously, I'd still got a little piece of um, steel panel left, so I cut it down and bonded it in place in the back door, creating a double skin. Then, basically, drill holes for the roof ladder, um, fitted the back plate on, but I also put a little bit of the uh, or PU adhesive. Um, behind the bolts and beyond the steel plate so it um, gives it a watertight seal obviously I did that at the top as well so basically uh, instead of the ladder being bolted onto a single single thickness uh, of the, the steel of the door there's two layers of steel plate because it's a larger surface area gives it that little bit more more strength um, then obviously you've got the the backing plate rather than just bolting it on with two washers it comes with a backing plate the uh, the same size as the uh, the ladder bracket mounts so it clamps it all in place then outside where the ladder is bolted onto the back door you've got the uh, the steel mounting bracket and I'll put two large penny washers um, just to give it a little bit more purchase and the same on the top yeah, but to uh, to make it watertight and just at the back there there's actually a little strip of close cell foam behind it um, just to stop protect the paint a little bit but there's also a layer of the butyl mastic sealer um, so obviously when you pinch it up that squeezes into the gap behind the uh, bracket and uh, makes a watertight seal so I'm quite pleased with the uh, the way the ladder's turned out and so I finished up having me five pound for the ladder in the deal I did on the uh, the roof rack and uh, two tins of the uh, truck bed liner paint and fitted it on. Obviously it's pretty easy to do if you sort out where you want it to go just mark the, the bottom brackets the easiest way is mark the bottom brackets the holes, bolt that up in place with someone to help you hold it bolt it in place and then you can mark the holes in the top, take the ladder off to drill it and then make sure you uh, prime any bare steel work so you don't get any rust. And obviously after you've drilled the holes out get the vacuum cleaner just down there so uh, any swarf doesn't collect because you don't want that, because that will uh, start causing corrosion. I'll say it's quite easy enough to do. So you can do the job on your own, um, but you'll have to be careful. Because uh, uh, the, the ladder can be a little bit heavy and uh, awkward to handle. So if you could just get someone to uh, hold it in place, help you bolt it up at the bottom, and then mark the top holes. I say, it's literally, once you've assembled the ladder, 
it's literally a half hour job to fit but there again it can take a little bit longer we're just waiting for the uh, the paint to dry on the holes what you've drilled and what I did I actually uh, marked it all up drilled the holes put the paint on and then left it till the next day so I knew the paint had actually cured and gone off and then fitted the ladder so thanks for watching if you've got any questions just uh, pop them in the comments and I'll get back to you later thanks guys cheers for watching